la Kate Leo. Nam Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ameamuru Wizara ya Fedha kutenga shilingi bilioni nane kwa ajili ya ujenzi wa madarasa mapya elfu kumi ili kushughulikia uhaba wa madarasa yanayohitajika kwa ajili ya mapokezi ya wanafunzi wa CBC watakapojiunga na shule za sekondari. Akizungumza kwenye sherehe za mashujaa huko Kirinyaga, Rais Aidha aliwataka wabunge kutumia hazina ya ustawi wa maeneo bunge kujenga madarasa mengine elfu kumi. Akiutaja mtaalamu wa CBC kwa nguzo muhimu ya mageuzi kwenye safari ndefu ya kubadilisha mfumo wa elimu nchini, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amesema japo hatua muhimu zimepigwa, kazi ngalipo. We instituted reforms in our education sector that led to the introduction of the competency-based curriculum or CBC. As a mark of this seminal transition, we now have two cohorts of children in pre-primary and five cohorts of our children in primary school who are the pioneers of this groundbreaking curriculum. We will continue enriching the curriculum to ensure that our children sharpen their talent and maximize their opportunities in keeping with our vision for a holistic growth of every child in Kenya. Huko akionekana kutotishwa na lolote kuhusu utekelezaji wa mtaala wa CBC, rais alitumia fursa yake ya mwisho kuongoza sherehe za mashujaa, kuweka wazi mikakati ya serikali kukabiliana na changamoto za uhaba wa madarasa kabla ya mwaka 2023 kwa kuzielekeza wizara za elimu, usalama wa taifa na fedha kushirikiana ili kufanikisha ujenzi wa madarasa mapya 1000. I hereby order and direct as follows that the Ministry of Education jointly with the Ministry of Interior and the National Treasury, shall establish a framework for the construction of over 10,000 classrooms needed to provide the additional learning space for the one million new students set to join junior secondary. Changamoto kubwa ya CBC inatarajiwa mnamo mwaka 2023 wanafunzi wa darasa la nane watakapojiunga na kidado cha kwanza na wanafunzi wengine zaidi ya milioni moja wa gradi ya sita watakapojiunga na shule sekondari inakadiriwa kwamba kwenye kipindi hicho idadi ya wanafunzi watakaojiunga na shule sekondari itapanda kwa zaidi ya milioni mbili. The National Treasury engages Parliament to appropriate 8 billion shillings towards the construction of classrooms and that the construction of these classrooms be undertaken by local contractors within the vicinity of each school so as to provide further stimulus to local economy kulingana na ratiba ya utekelezaji wa mtaalamu wa CBC kufikia sasa serikali inastahili kuwa imeweka wazi tathmini kamili ya miundo msingi katika shule zote mbali na kujenga madarasa mapya miongoni mwa mahitaji mengine muhimu kabla ya mwaka 2023 Kimsingi serikali inastahili kujenga angalau madarasa 1200 kabla ya mwaka 2023 to address The gap of the remaining 10,000 classrooms across the country I call upon all members of the National Assembly to stand together in solidarity with our children by prioritizing allocation of the CDF towards school infrastructure ikizingatiwa darasa moja ushaini angalau wanafunzi 40 madarasa 1000 yatawashughulikia wanafunzi laki nne hii ina maana kwamba iwapo wabunge watakubaliana na wito wake rais na kujenga madarasa mengine 1000 basi patakwepo na pengo la angalau madarasa 1700 shadrak miti kitchen news